John Finney, you're talking about Special Olympics. Each meeting begins by drawing the names of charities who do work in Halton Hills, each submitted by a member of the group. On this night, the mayor got the honor. Then there's a brief presentation so that everyone can learn a little more about the charity and the specific need they have for this donation. So they, by purchasing the carpet, not only do they get to, does it get to help the Hall Hills team, but it's actually going to be used for competitions across the province. And it's one, including one that's going to happen in all of us, I understand. So it's going to bring a lot of the athletes and the families to our town. Afterwards, everyone gets to vote for the charity they feel is most deserving. And once those are counted, it's announced. So far, four nonprofit organizations have been the beneficiaries of this generosity, and a total of more than $26,000 has been raised. The theory is that each of the 100 men donate $100, so the total given reaches $10,000. Last time, the Out of the Cold program hosted at Knox Presbyterian Church in Georgetown was successful. So at this meeting, they're invited to share more. It's been operating for two years, helping people find overnight refuge to escape winter weather. In the first year, it served 12 people. Last year, it grew to 34. Some of them stayed only one night. They were in and they were gone. Others, they would be back once a week. And then there were those who stayed with us for two or three months at a time. And there was one individual who was with us 119 of 121 nights that we were open. The founder of this chapter of 100 Men Who Care shared that this presentation is one of the most important aspects of the gathering. And I think that's the rewarding part for the gentlemen is they get to see and feel how their money is being used. And that's the biggest thing that they want. These guys want to make a difference in their local community they just want that avenue to do it and we definitely provide that avenue and it's uh it's a great feeling when you know that you're supporting something that you can see feel and touch on top of marking their first anniversary the group also topped 100 members for the first time now at 103 and closer to the goal of donating ten thousand dollars each time they get together and the charities that were nominated but not selected get to be considered at the next quarterly meeting jason trout for halton news in Halton Hills.